Welcome to Second Take, the show that takes a look at the issues behind the news. Science and Technology Minister Naledi Pandor has delivered her budget vote for 2017-18. Keith Campbell tells us more about the department's plans for the year ahead. Hi Keith. What is the department's budget for this year and how does it compare with previous years? Well, the budget is 7.5 billion rand for the financial year 2017-2018 and in real terms it is stable. Uh, in other words, it has gone up by the amount of inflation, but by no more. So the budget is not climbing, the budget is not declining. The one complication the department has is that it has to import a lot of expensive scientific and technological research equipment from overseas. And so uh, any weakening in the RAND drives its costs up. So the RAND uh, foreign exchange rate can, uh, weakening, can weaken the buying power of the DST. That, that is currently, I think, the main problem in terms of the size of the budget. What are the department's budget priorities for the year ahead? Well, the biggest single uh, allocation in the budget, uh, coming to 4.6 billion rand, is for research infrastructure and support. That is for funding research programs, for funding researchers, for uh, constructing and maintaining scientific research and development infrastructure, importing scientific uh, equipment and so on and so forth. Uh, very high priority uh, within this is human capital development. So basically the top two priorities as a department are investing in human capital development and investing in uh, science and technological research and development infrastructure. Now, in addition to uh, these uh, broad programs, of course, the uh, DST uh, also has certain priorities. Uh, it uh, is seeking to assist the country's economic growth. Uh, it has been able to uh, establish itself as an uh, important factor in uh, several of the government's medium-term strategic objectives concerned with such things as uh, sustainable development, health and li uh, life expectancy, uh, decent work, uh, and so on. And it's also seeking to transform the skilled research and development uh, cohort, for one better word, in South Africa. So uh, it's adopting a program whereby 80%, at least 80% of postgraduate uh, bursaries awarded by the National Research Foundation will go to black students and 55% uh, if I remember correctly will go to women and 4% to people with disabilities. Now as you know the DST oversees a number of different entities or agencies or organizations. The National Research Foundation is one of these. It's basically a funding agency. Uh, Council for Scientific Industrial Research uh, is another. Uh, the Human Sciences Research Council, the Technology Innovation Agency, uh, the South African National Space Agency, and the uh, Academies of Science of South Africa are among these uh, entities. Um, and they, of course, get uh, core votes, core funding from uh, the national budget. Uh, and the two biggest uh, within the, these entities in terms of the bu core budget funding they get are the National Research Foundation and the CSIR, the Council for, Industrial, for Scientific and Industrial Research, sorry. And they both get a bit under a billion rand each. The NR NRF, which funds other projects, gets a bit more than the CSIR. And then, the, then there's a significant drop uh, to agencies like um, the HSRC and the, 
the Human Sciences Research Council and the Technology Innovation Agency, which get funding around about 300 million rand each, a bit more than 300 million rand each, if I remember correctly. And the South African National Space Agency, which I think gets just over 130 million rand in its funding. However, these agencies can and do receive extra funding for specific projects. And some of these agencies also do contract work for uh, public sector and private sector, as well as project finance, as well as the parliamentary core budget. Uh, because the budget is not as high as the department would like, uh, the department has been seeking to augment it through international partnerships where the problem with exchange rate is turned into a benefit because if they can get uh, partners who are putting in uh, uh, their share in US dollars, uh, British pounds, sterling, euros, of course then it works uh, in DST's favour. But also in partnership with other government departments and with other levels of government. They're trying to encourage investment by provincial and even major municipal governments in, in innovation. And one example that uh, Science and Technology Na Minister Naledi Pando pointed out was Khao Teng Province's support for the Innovation Hub in Pretoria, uh, in Chwane. So, they are also looking to develop partnerships with the private sector. So they have the, the core uh, vote from the parliament, but they're seeking to augment that through national and international uh, partnerships. Thank you. That's the second tech show for this week. Thank you for watching and join us again next time for more news analysis.